Hi everyone, I'm here to talk to you about relationships and what people actually think and people put in and what people say and what people do and you know, I'm trying to talk to you. I was with this girl for over two and a half years. I put in everything that I had, everything that I wanted to and everything that I could. And at the end it just wasn't worth it anymore. Like, I was with I was with her for two and a half years, like I just said. And then you know, it was a nice two and a half old muscle muscle. And I mean muscles are just like that just that. And like there's a time that I was like, you know, really, really crazy and there was a time when I feel that's like I want to be back with her. And 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 when we finally broke up, I was like, I was, at that time, I was just like, wow, like, I actually did it. Like, I, I told her I don't want to be with her, and then, like, out of all those times that I didn't want to be with her, be with her, I didn't want to be with her anymore. It's just like, something happened in my life that changed the way I looked at things. And if that probably didn't happen, I'd probably still be, you know, be with her. But, anyways, and, then I moved on to somebody else, and I pretty much gave them everything that I had. Knowing that I didn't have a lot, I'm talking about money wise, I didn't have a lot of it, but I still tried. Knowing that I got hurt in a go fight accident, I was working not even a couple hours a week. I had money, you know, I tried, I worked with a friend, and his friend to make extra money, and like, to do things to make the for work and like all this type of stuff. It was, it was difficult for me because I never was in a situation where there was other, I don't know how to say, let's just say things involved. It was fun. I had fun while I lasted. And I felt like I got used. And it just bothered me. And so today, it still bothers me. This was like a couple of months ago. It still bothers me because you do so much for one person, knowing you don't have too much. And like I read a saying on Facebook a couple of days ago, maybe a week. I don't know when it was. The girl only goes out with a guy that gives her more. Instead of thinking, "Wow, this guy only has okay, let's get an example. I have ten bucks. Let's just say I give the girl ten bucks, and that's my only ten bucks I have to my name." And this other guy gives her a hundred bucks more than this guy's fully loaded. Like, I gave you the last ten bucks that I had to my man. Like, what does that say about him? What does that say about the other person? What does that say about you? That very much says that you need to use somebody up for a hundred bucks instead of ten bucks. No matter what it's going to be, it's not bucks that I had. And it's just like, I just feel like my story about the money. Uh, I was just the same other way. I'm just saying that like, that's how girls are. And it seems like it's okay. Every girl with the guy with the most money. Mm -hmm. The guy with the 10 bucks, only the 10 bucks, gave me money because he wanted to be happy. And he was doing anything possible. No one knows if that 10 bucks in the house. Oh yeah, anxiety sucks. Mm -hmm. I'm going through it. I came back to me and I said, look, I'm with the girl. I just ended up like a couple of months ago. And I had it a long time ago. I did that in like five or eight years ago. I just recently came back. And now I'm like, oh shit, who cares about ever? And I'm going to talk to you about that in another video after this. I just want to explain like, dating and girls and guys in situations that I'm in. It sucks. You can be hard after somebody and then you just on the side of the road. They can play a nice one. Or can't treat you the same way like that last person. So, I hope you didn't get any money. I've been single for a couple months now and I must say, after, you know, being, after being in a relationship for 15 and a half years, and then for an extra month and a half, I'm actually happy being alone. I don't have to do that bullshit. 
I don't know what and knowing that I don't really have a job at the moment, it's kind of hard for me because I'm going to show. Yeah. Like I always, I always have my friends in my world. I will always have people switching me. I'm going to get to That's pretty much what I wanted to say in this video. So, I hope you comment below. Subscribe, stay together, and my Facebook, I don't care. I would like to talk to people that are going to be in a situation and everything else is going to happen. Alright, peace.